Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do private schools have to follow state guidelines? Private schools are unique educational environments. They operate with a certain je ne sais quoi. But how free are they from state oversight? Let's find out. Firstly, private schools are, well, private. This means they aren't funded by public taxes. Instead, they're often supported by tuition fees, donations, and endowments. This financial independence comes with some perks. One major perk is curriculum freedom. Yes, private schools often design their own educational programs. They can choose the books, the teaching methods, and the subjects they teach. It's like being the chef of your own educational kitchen. But wait, there's a catch. Private schools must comply with basic state education laws. These can include safety regulations, teacher qualifications, and some degree of academic standards. Think of it as a recipe book that ensures the meal isn't just creative, but also safe and nutritious. Moreover, private schools aren't entirely off the hook when it comes to standardized tests. In some states, they might need to show their students are learning effectively. It's a bit like having to pass a taste test now and then. Interestingly, private schools aren't subject to the same level of accountability as public schools. They don't have to follow the same detailed recipe of state guidelines and standards. This gives them room to experiment with their educational flavors. Accreditation is another interesting twist. While not mandatory, many private schools seek it voluntarily. It's like a restaurant seeking a Michelin star to show they meet certain quality standards. Lastly, let's talk about special education. Private schools have more discretion in the services they provide. However, they still have to respect federal laws like the Americans with Disabilities Act. So, do private schools have to follow state guidelines? They do, but only to a certain extent. They have the freedom to innovate, but must still ensure basic educational nutrition is met. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.